And well, despite the weather, fall is officially here, and that means Veterans Day is right around the corner. And the Central Alabama Veterans Healthcare System is ready to honor all those folks here in the River Region. Here are the details is Ron Duvall. Ron, tell us about the parade and what you have planned for Veterans Day. Well, first and foremost, thank you for having us so we can advocate how Central Alabama VA Healthcare System is going to honor our veterans on November 7th at the Tuskegee VA campus, where we're inviting the community to come out and participate in our parade on the Tuskegee VA campus. What can we expect from that parade? Well, a lot of participation from our community members, organizations, and businesses, and as well as engaging with our veterans uh, on the T VA campus there at Tuskegee. Why is it important, especially in November, for us to pause and recognize these folks? Uh, not just in November, but every day to pause and remember and honor our veterans uh, who served our nation. And that's part of our mission is to honor and serve and care for those uh, uh, veterans who served our nation. For people who are just coming out to participate, coming out to the parade, coming to hang out, what else can they do to support these folks? Absolutely, so uh, uh, part of my department uh, participates with engaging with the community and to solicit uh, uh, donations and resources to help veterans uh, in need. And, and if interested, you can reach out to us at the Central Alabama VA, ask for voluntary services, or you can email us at vhacavcdce at va.gov. I know you don't have a list in front of you, but talk about just some of the things, some of the needs, if people do want to donate and help out. Certainly, thank you for asking. So uh, part of uh, supporting our, our homeless veteran population, our women veteran population, uh, clothing. Uh, we have a food bank at the Tuskegee VA campus, uh, uh, just to name a few things, as well as monetary donations, which help specific uh, veteran populations uh, at the at the VA. I believe, is that a fairly new food bank at the Tuskegee campus? It is. How's that going? It's going really well and uh, we, we are very blessed uh, with the support uh, for that so that we can uh, help uh, veterans with food insecurities. Give people that date, time, and location for the Veterans Day Parade happening in Tuskegee. Yes, uh, you can come out November 7th uh, at 11 a.m. as a parade start. If you're going to participate in the parade, uh, we have staging at 9 a.m. And again, that's uh, on Thursday, November 7th at the Tuskegee VA campus. Give us an idea of who's participating. Will people see bands, dancers? Yeah. What can they expect? Absolutely. So uh, bands from local high schools, Tuskegee University will be participating, uh, as well as some junior highs and elementaries will be participating in that parade as well. So a lot of music and a good time. If you can't come out, he said you can donate and continue to support those in our community that Tuskegee Food Bank is still fairly new, so I'm it sure is. they can use a lot of help. Give them a phone number they can call if they want to donate. Thank you. Uh, you can reach us at 334-727-0550, extension 53418. And you said you're collecting food, you're collecting clothing, just anything people in the community will need. Absolutely, and you can email us uh, of interest and we will we will send you a needs list where we keep up to date of what our current needs are uh, to help veterans. Well, that's perfect. So people can shop for exactly what you all need. Again, that parade is happening very soon in Tuskegee. Ron, thanks so much for joining us here in Alabama Live. We truly appreciate it.